Hello everyone, welcome you all in this course Discrete Mathematical Structure and Graph Theory. In this lecture, we will understand the concept of matrix and we will define different types of matrices. Let us try to understand a matrix. Just imagine the examination room where sitting arrangement of students is done according to their roll number, row and column wise. This arrangement of, of roll numbers is nothing but a sort of matrix. So we can define a matrix as an arrangement of numbers in a rectangular area of rows and columns. It means it is two dimensional. You take the example of this arrangement of six numbers. Here two rows are there, one and two and three columns are there. So you can say this is a matrix having two rows and three columns. Now order of a matrix. If in a matrix there are m rows and n columns, then we say the order of the matrix is m by n. Look at this matrix. Here two rows are there and three columns are there. That's why the order is two by three. Now you have already gone through matrices, their types, and properties in previous classes. Here we will analyze and define each term in a generalized way so that you can understand the basics and utilize it for computation purpose. So in a generalized way, we can represent a matrix as A equal to A i j m by n. We generally use capital letters to denote a matrix. M by n is the order of the matrix and A i j is i jth element of the matrix. So if you take the example of a 2 by 3 matrix, then how can we write all the elements? Look at this. This is the first element, this subscript 1 1. This first one represents the row number and this second one represents the column number. So this one is the element of first row and first column. Similarly, this is the first row and second columns a 1 2 first row and third column similarly you can define all these other elements the matrix is called a square matrix if m equal to n for example you can write b equal to 1 2 3 4 so this is a square matrix so in place of saying a matrix of two order of matrix b is 2 by 2 simply you can say the order of matrix is 2 now we will define different types of matrix is row matrix. A matrix having only one row is called a row matrix. So how can we define? How can we define this condition for a matrix to be a row matrix? So let A equal to AI is a M by N is a matrix. So it is called row matrix if M equal to 1 means only one row is there. So this is the example of the row matrix. Now column matrix, a matrix having only one is called a column matrix. Similarly, A equal to A is M by N is called column matrix if N equal to 1. So, this is the example of a column matrix. Null matrix. A matrix in which all elements are 0 is called a null matrix or 0 matrix. So, in generalized way, how can we write? A equal to A i j m by n is called a null matrix if A i j equal to 0 for all i j means every element is 0. So this is a null matrix of order 2 by 3. It may be 0, 0. This is null matrix of order 1 by 2. Similarly, you can write 0, 0, 0, 0. The matrix of 2 by 2. So all these are null matrices. Now diagonal matrices. Whenever we talk about diagonal matrix, we it means we are talking about a square matrix. And look at this. This is a square matrix and basically there are two diagonals. This is the main diagonal and there is the second diagonal. So this is basically also known as leading diagonal or diagonal or generally we say diagonal. Whenever we talk about a diagonal element, then we consider these three elements or other elements in this diagonal, in main diagonal. So a square matrix in which all non-diagonal elements other than diagonal elements are zero is called a diagonal matrix. So in generalized way, how can we define? 
a equal to a i j m by m look at this we are talking about a square matrix that's why here m by m is written it's called a diagonal matrix if a i j equal to 0 for i is not equal to j look at this for this this is 1 1 this is 2 2 element this is 3 3 element means all other elements are 0 it means for all other elements i is not equal to j clear so this is diagonal matrix a scalar matrix a diagonal matrix it means we are talking about diagonal matrix in which elements for which i is not equal to j are zero so diagonal matrix is called a scalar matrix if all diagonal elements are equal means except the diagonal elements other elements are zero and diagonal elements are equal so we can define it in generalized way in this way so a equal to a i j m by m is called a scalar matrix if i is not equal to j then a i j equal to 0 and when i equal to j this is k means all diagonal elements are same here k equal to 2 so this is the example of a scalar matrix a unit matrix a diagonal matrix is called a unit matrix if all diagonal elements are 1 it means when i is not equal to j, a i is equal to 0 and when i equal to j, this is 1. It means you can say it is a particular kind of scalar matrix where k equal to 1. So this is a unit matrix of order 3. Now upper triangular matrix. A square matrix is called upper triangular. If all elements below the leading diagonal, below the leading diagonal are 0. Now how can we define it? In generalized way, again a equal to a i j m by m is called an upper triangular matrix. All elements below the leading diagonal. Below the leading diagonal means this is, look at this, this is the leading diagonal. Clear? So all elements below this are this one, this one and this one. Now for these three elements, what type of condition uh, we can define? Look at this. This for this element, row is, this is 2 and column is 1 clear column is 1 so for this is row number is row number is 3 and column is 1 and for this column number is 2 now look at this for if you see for this element this is 2 and 1 it means 2 is greater than 1 this is 3 is greater than 1 similarly for this one 3 is greater than 2 it means for all these elements below the leading diagonal i is greater than j so you can write it a matrix A equal to A i j m by m is called upper triangular if A i j equal to 0 for i is greater than j. Clear? Similarly, we can define a lower triangular matrix. Lower triangular means all the elements above the leading diagonal. Above the leading diagonal means above this one. You know, for above this diagonal means these three elements. We are talking about this one, this one and this one so look at this is first row this first column second column and third column now for this i is less than j i is less than j similarly this is 2 2 is less than 3 so you can say a i j equal to 0 for i is less than j so this is lower triangular matrix now sub matrix a matrix obtained from a given matrix a equal to a i j m by m m by m not generally m by you can write it m by n also clear m by n by deleting some rows and columns or both is called a sub matrix of a look at this a is a matrix if you delete this suppose for example first row and a third column so you will have only this matrix 3 5 2 1 so this is a sub matrix similarly if you remove this last row then you will have this matrix of order 2 by 3 and similarly if you remove this first column then you will get this matrix so all these matrices are sub matrices so i hope that you got the concept of matrix and different types of matrices thank you